But what's up guys and welcome to another tutorial in the F18 Hornet. This time I'm going to look at the radio systems and basic functionality of the radio including the ADF near the end of the video. Okay so what we'll do is we'll uh, zoom in on the UFC and we'll just have a quick little uh, look at the layout and what everything does. So starting at the top right we've got the brightness control so if I just pull one of the radio buttons so brightness dim it down we lose our display all the way to brightness uh, and the brighter the uh, display becomes. MCOM, we're not going to worry about that. Volume, we've got one on the uh, left and one on the right. Basically, they are uh, the volumes for the respective radio channels. So, COM2 on the right hand side, COM1 on the left. Point to note if you're using simple radio standalone, I've been called out by this a million times. If you can't hear anyone, turn your volume up, just see if that does the trick. I've been called out a load by this. As you can see, the display times out after a uh, set amount of time as well. So below our radio buttons or volume buttons, we've now got the COM selector buttons. So we've got COM2 on the right hand side and COM1 on the left hand side. Just above that we've got a box that corresponds with the channel that we've selected. Okay, so like you saw there, if I scroll on one of the uh, selector buttons, I can then scroll through all of the different channels. So as you see, I've started at 1 all the way up to 20. There are my preset channels. These are done in the mission editor we keep scrolling we'll find G so this is our guard frequency so this is just a frequency that we can monitor while using other radio channels best way of using a guard frequency that we utilize in the uh, British Army is having a, a guard frequency on your radios for basically uh, lost comms so effectively if, if a vehicle loses their secure co communications they will use the guard frequency which is a clear frequency to get in contact with other vehicles okay so going up from guard we have manual, so this is how we manually input radio frequencies into the uh, F-18 so we can change our frequencies as we wish potentially going along with a battle, getting in comms with JTACs etc etc all we've got to do is type the numbers in, press enter and that will give us that frequency ok so C, that stands for our Q frequency, although I don't think this is currently modelled in uh, DCS this stands for, it's basically a Q channel for our single channel ground and airborne radio system or I believe it's uh, shortened to SINGARS so basically this is a uh, another type of combat radio system so we can get in, we can basically utilize this, this other combat radio system without um, screwing around with our frequencies with inside the, uh, the aircraft so if we keep going from there okay so S, S this is basically for our maritime frequencies so we can plug basically uh, preset frequencies into this which can get in contact with things like ships or um, certain stations and let's uh, okay and then we're back to our preset one okay and moving up we've already gone through our volume controls now we've got the ADF so this is a uh, basically a system to give us a direction to a given radio or audio source we'll look at that later on obviously when we input any data into the UFC we utilize these soft keys that's no different with the radio systems as well okay so that's our brisk look at the UFC and what each uh, control does in relation to radios right so that's a pretty much general view of the outer control so now what we're going to do is we're going to select a radio and we're going to have a look at the inner controls okay so what I'll do is I'll just select COM1 okay so really simple now as you can see we've got a load more display showing up obviously the frequency and what preset we've got which is obviously preset 1 305 decimal 0 okay so on the right hand side we've got a load more display so just I may have to just quick uh, click this from time to time to stop the whole thing from uh, time now okay so GRCV so that stands for guard receive so that's basically listen to our guard frequency on top of the radios that we're already trying to manage squelch squelch is basically uh, trying to remove background noise from the uh, the radio frequencies however the pro the only downside of this is you might potentially lose distant radio transmissions because it's uh, mixed in with all that background noise so if we turn it off you will hear the, squel uh, the, the background noise there you go obviously the two dots show us that the, uh, the given command is on Okay, so Cypher, this is basically to do with our encryption. This isn't currently modelled in the game, however, if it was, you'd have to, or basically be able to type, uh, toggle from a couple of modes. One of them would be plain, which would be uh, sort of uncrypt or unencrypted. Cypher and delay. None of these are currently simulated, however, Cypher is always selected. AM, 
So if we if we toggle this, we get AM or FM frequency. So depending on what frequency type we require, depends on what we select. And menu doesn't actually uh, do anything presently. So that's all of the controls that we're really going to require to uh, utilize the radio systems on the F-18. And yeah, so we'll move on. Okay then guys, moving on. So what we're going to go on to now is manually selecting radio channels. So what we want to do first is we either, in our COM1 or COM2, we want the M displayed for manual. As you can see, COM1 for me currently is 305 decimal zero. So what we're going to do is we're going to change that. We want to utilize 251. So what we're going to do is, is uh, type it in 251 decimal zero zero zero, and then we're going to press enter. That's now that channel we're selected for us, so we can now utilize 251 or talk to any aircraft on that channel. If we press the AM button, it will then flick to FM. So now, now we're utilizing FM for our radio. However, we're going to leave that set to AM. Changing a manual frequency really is as simple as that. And you'll see if I scroll away from it now, go to a preset, and I go back to manual, we've still got 251. So all the time we have manual selected and we utilize our COM1 mic switch, we will uh, transmit on the manual frequency of 251 that we just put in. So if we want to change that, once again, just as simple so we go for change it back to 305 so 305 000 enter once again we can utilize the am fm we can put the guard receiver on if we want to talk to aircraft on a guard or we want to hear guard frequency messages via our uh, while, while utilizing this channel basically and if we scroll away again back to m you'll see once again 305 still displayed so we're happy now we can change manual frequencies okay then guys so the last thing we're going to look at is the ADF so automatic direction finder okay so basically all this does is if we plug in a certain frequency of a uh, audio beacon it's going to give us a rough heading towards that beacon so it's going to show us where that noise is coming from effectively okay so for this we want to use this in correspondence with the HSI so we want to make sure on our manual frequency we select whatever frequency we require so I'm going to use El Minab Airbase as a VOR beacon on frequency 115.2 so I'm going to type that in 115.2 and press enter all we're going to do now using our ADF selector free position switch central being off and then you've got one at the top two at the bottom those correspond with your COM1 and COM2 so one obviously stands for COM1 and COM2 for COM2 so if I now select COM1 on my HSI you can see now there's a circle that is now giving me an, a rough idea of where that, so that sound is coming from point to note with this memorize where the beacon is prior to making your turn because as you'll see when I start my turn the beacon will move however we know it's a rough heading of 210 and that is quite simply how we use the ADF So obviously the most important factor, as soon as you start steering towards the ADF beacon or the, the beacon that you're trying to uh, track, take a note of the heading prior to that because the beacon will, uh, or the indicator will move from time to time. And that is really the long and short of our basic radio tutorial. So thanks for watching and please feel free to like and subscribe for future content. I'm going to be making plenty more tutorials. Until then, stay safe.